Do I have cheese between my teeth? No. No. Should okay. we keep this in the interview? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Guten Morgen. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing, Anne Sophie? I'm really, really doing well. Thank you. Well, many congratulations for winning the ticket to Vienna. Well, it was kind of given to me, exactly. but thank you. Yes. So, so, uh, <laughs> Tell to all our viewers outside and listeners outside Europe, what happened in Germany? Well, what happened in Germany was that I, you know, went straight to the to the final and um, the guy who actually won the ticket didn't want it. I was always a fan of presents and so I just took it Amazing. and now I'm here. But you never say no, right? <laughs> never. Never say no. No. <laughs> no. Have you... Um, become friends already with this idea of being on this Eurovision stage in front of 200 million people. Um, <laughs> if you say it like that, I'm like, Ugh, uh, 200 million people, that's a lot. I actually try to not think about it okay. because um, I will get very nervous mm -hmm. and probably forget my own name. Mm -hmm. and, so yeah. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, your musical background. Well, um, I started singing very early when I was 13 or 14. I experienced it for myself, you know, singing to Christina Aguilera's album Stripped and being all, ah, I want to be like her and whatever. And then when I was uh, 20, I moved to New York and then I went to the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. I did acting in that school, but then next to that, I sang in bars in New York. I started writing music. I bought a keyboard, a piano, uh, a microphone and recorded my own music with GarageBand and... Um, that's how it kind of started, yeah. And, and where did you perform? In New York. Yeah. Uh, I performed at The Bitter End, Ella Lounge, Rockwood Music Hall. And we had a performance, a few performances at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute as well. And um, yeah, I think I performed at those locations uh, a few times. That's yeah. good repertoire for you. Yeah, yeah. It, was very, it was very exciting and yeah. it's, yeah, and it's just the clubs are so small, you know, and it's just, everybody's there. It's like 20 to 30 people only fit into that into those clubs, and it's really, it's really exciting. Yeah. And how did you actually end up in the German national final? Well, um, I moved back from New York in 2013. I I did my music in in, in Germany. I played shows. I fought, you know, as every musician has to. And then I heard about the. Um, uh, I heard about the club concert where you can win the wild card to go to the German pre-selection, la la. And I thought, well, I'm ready for it. I think I would like another challenge and this would be so cool. But then I applied. I forgot about it, though, right away. I never thought it would actually happen the way it did. Well, there you go. You will be on the Eurovision stage performing Black Smoke. Can yes. you tell us a little bit more about the song? Uh, well, I applied with my song, with my single Get Over Yourself that I wrote. Mm -hmm. And... Um, since that was already out there and people knew it, uh, I couldn't take that one, couldn't sing with that, uh, couldn't sing that song. And then um, my label suggested two songs to me, and it was "Jump the Gun" and "Black Smoke," okay. and those two were the ones that I sang at the pre-selection mm -hmm. in Germany. And people like "Black Smoke," which I'm so happy about because I like it too, and um, it was my personal favorite. And now, yeah, that's it. Excellent. Yeah. It's a very powerful song, Black Smoke, you sing. Uh, from the national final to Eurovision, uh, what are the preparation stages for you? Have you been thinking of changing things on the performance? And how much have you got to say to change things as an artist? Um, I actually have a lot of say, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> it's because of my biceps. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, the, every, the whole team that I'm working with, the only thing that they want is that I feel comfortable and that I feel that I can be my best self on stage. And now that I get to perform Black Smoke in many venues, in front of people at di in different cities, I can feel, you know, how does this feel? I can try a little bit, you know, what's good, what, what, what do people like? And then I mix it up and then at the end I come up with something that... I feel good with and the audience feels good with and everybody else does too. Fantastic. Yeah. Do, do you know actually what's coming up in Vienna? you have any idea? Did you now do your homework? Because in, in Hanover, oh, yeah, yeah. You, I you said, I didn't do my homework, so <laughs> no. did you do it now? <laughs> um, well, we had a, a meeting yesterday where we discussed what's going to happen. So people were doing my homework for me again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and actually, it's, it's, it's insane. I do not have, I cannot imagine what how it's going to be like. It, I just know it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be so nervous. 
I'm going to be so happy and terrified and everything that's there. I'll probably age 20 more years after this. Oh no, you won't, you won't. You will enjoy it and do it, do the best and uh, make Germany proud. I hope I can. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you. Okay.